Hello, hello, Cancer, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to be pulling messages for those of you that are trying or breaking free from a karmic relationship. Um, these messages will be for April the 4th until the 10th. Please, Universal Energies, please bring forward two more messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you that are getting out of a karmic relationship, okay? Here we go. Two emotionally unhealthy people does not make a healthy relationship. Listen, where you're fucked up and your partner is fucked up, you're both fucked up, okay? There's just no other way how to say it. I know because I've been there. I've been fucked up and I've been with people that have been fucked up. And you know how they say hurt people hurt people? It just kept repeating itself, you know, until I finally learned my lesson. You know, you get hooked up with people that are healthy and, you know, you try your best to, to work through the bad moments or whatever the case is. Um, okay, so you have here, codependency is a, as real as it gets. Some of you are highly dependent on someone. You know, um, maybe this is why some of you are not being able to depart a relationship. I will have better boundaries. Some of you need to look for better boundaries. You know, when I see this card, I always feel that, you know, um, we as people sometimes don't give ourselves the space that we need. And, you know, we kind of forget our self-worth, our morals, and we kind of forget many things, you know, on the, the journey. And, you know, you really do have to have, you know, boundaries set for yourself, you know, so that you can control your life and your journey. You know, we're going to be pulling out one more love message. So two love messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, Universal Energies, one more. There we go. All right. So here we go. Um, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Listen, forget about other people. Love yourself, okay? Listen, I am a fan for being on the love yourself um, club, you know, um, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not loving yourself, nurturing yourself, you're not doing you or anybody else any good. You can't be there. You can't be there. Okay. You can't be there all the time. So there's a time that somebody will have to be there for you, you know, and I feel that for some of you, it is time to take out some time, go on vacation, do what you need to do. Okay. My beloved, Though we are physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends in space and time, nothing is missing. So I feel that for some of you, you could be dealing with maybe a past relationship. And it's, it's crazy because look at this. The two love messages that I pulled out both have wings. Some of you are catered in wings. You know, and this could be from a person that's passed away in your life. You know, and it's funny because it's not funny, but it's it's not coincidental that today I did all the, you know, all the other readings and a couple of people also got, got these two same cards. Not this one, but this one, my beloved. And I think that there was another one with wings on it, which I also represented in the reading as somebody who was passed. So some of you, you know, you may be cradled in, you know, some of your ancestors, some of your spirit guides, you know, take care of yourself. You may also have your guardian angels that are taking care of you and looking after you. Beautiful. Look at this energy. Cancer. Oh my fucking word. You get the world energy. This is you stepping into your own beginning. You stepping into your own graduation. You beginning a whole fucking new book. Why? Because listen, you just pass all the tests in life. And this you're like, you know what? I've done it all. Been around the shithole. Been up and down been to heaven and back, been through the fucking agonizing hell, and now it is time for me to start over, okay? 
So that is a lot of beautiful energy for you, Cancer. You also have here another beautiful energy, strength. Okay, some of you could be a lion. Some of you are building physical strength. You know, you could be working out. You could be, you know, you, let me tell you, for some of you, it took a lot of strength for you to get through this transformation that some of you were going through. Because I'll tell you, getting to the world is almost like being a transformation. You know, you don't fucking get to the world by hop, skipping, and jumping. You get through the world by taking step after step, you know, um, many, many times. And here you go. Beautiful energy. Holy fucking beautiful energy for you, Cancer. I don't even want to clarify these anymore. You know, like, I don't even want to clarify them. Because you have another beautiful energy. This is the rising phoenix. So I'll tell you, when I see these two energies, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a lot of beautiful, beautiful vibration. You know, this is stepping up. This is rising from a dark place. Um, and I, I feel like some of you left a lot behind, you know. Um, why is the world here? Why is the world here? Please, universal energy. Why is the world here for cancer? Two of Pentacles. You are finally trying to find some balance with the Two of Pentacles. You're trying, you're laying on the hammock with somebody else. You're like, listen, this is almost like a seesaw. You know, you need somebody's help to balance it off. But some of you are coming full circle. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Temperance. Oh my fucking word. This is beautiful. Okay. Some of you are like, you know what? Sitting back enjoying my balance, enjoying my stability, testing the waters, you know, it is a hot day, I'm going to go sit in the water, okay, um, and for some of you, you know, this is, it's beautiful, I don't even know what to say, I don't even want to clarify anymore, Queen of Wands, beautiful, some of you are stepping into your own authenticity, I'm hearing, you know, you're stepping into yourself. Some of you have crowned yourself recently. You crowned yourself. You took your crown and you put it on your head, you know, and you're like, you know what? I'm rising from where I've been. You know, the time to move is now. The time to be here is now is what I'm hearing. Why is the six of wands here? Six of wands. What did you rise from? What, oh, oh, holy shit. <laughs> Cancer. I want you to see what I just pulled out for you. The devil energy. I'm going to tell you right now. Some of you have done with the eight of pentacles. Some of you have done a lot of work. Don't let this devil energy hold you back. Because there's a temptation. Let me tell you. You know what this is called? This is called the last test before you graduate. Don't you dare fail. Okay, this is the last test. The universe is going to send you one final test and it's going to send you in the devil one more time. It's going to send you in somebody who's unhinged, somebody who is, you know, who is out of fucking control. This is karmic, okay? They're chained up to hell and somebody is coming for you. This person is coming for you, okay? And it is up to you to say, you know what? I've put in the work and I am going to pass this test. You know, this is the final test, Cancer. Okay, so this devil energy is coming to knock at your door as they see you rising, as they see you moving up, as they see you all, you know, and I'm going to tell you, look at this. With the two of pentacles and the eight of pentacles, okay? This is the ten of pentacles. Some of you are filled with abundance. You're, you're filled with safety. You're filled with a home. This is a stable home. And I'm going to tell you, it's, a, it's good money. And the universe is going to give you this final fucking test. I'm going to see. Oh, please, universal energies. Let me see what most of the cancers are going to do with this devil energy. What 
Okay, let's see what you're gonna do with this devil energy. Oh my fucking word. I want you to see this. What are you gonna do? Some of you are gonna make some new plans and others of you, look at this, I can't even get a straight answer. This is the answer that came out for the devil energy. What are you going to do about this karmic energy? And some of you got two of wands and the other ones got two of swords. Some of you are going to be stuck in this energy and some of you are going to move away from it by making new plans. Okay, so listen, we couldn't even get an answer on that. I hope that this was able to help you. Remember, this is one final test before you receive your award. Okay, Cancer? Thank you so much for being here and listen. Beware.